G'day guys, my name's Josh, you can call me Zawoodle, and welcome back to 7 Days to Die, where it's Horde Night again in Undead Legacy. Yes, you did hear that right. Despite I feel like it's only been four seconds since the last Blood Moon Horde, there is another ravenous pile of zombies coming for me in only a few hours. And I've been too busy out gallivanting around in the wasteland trying to find all my cool loot, like my sweet ass katana. And I've done absolutely no upgrades to my horde base at all, which is not making me feel especially uh, fantastic. Admittedly, this base here was like a last minute slap together when I was really desperate for something. This wasn't what I had in mind. This is kind of like my base to defend my base against like wandering hordes and stuff like that. I don't think it's really kitted out for sustained horde night pressure. So I don't know how this is going to go tonight. I have some things I need to do for it to try and shore it up a little bit before it gets all a bit too egregious. But I don't know. I'm not feeling especially confident about it. The hordes are only getting worse. And my base is getting worse with it. One thing I do remember from before though, other than having to probably do some repairs and upgrades through here, is a couple of zombies, if I just like skirt myself down there, a couple of zombies were getting tripped up on a little corner thing here. So if I can get rid of this little ledge, there's nothing for the zombies to get trapped on and start beating through some walls. So break all of this down. There's also the window sill just outside of that window over there. You can see those walls there have had a really bad time of it. But if I get rid of all of this, there's no platforms is obviously to stand on they're going to be where i can kill them or nowhere although looking around i mm, yeah now nah, this uh this base won't last long if i continue the fight hordes here Senses have picked up something oh oh yeah i mean i built this place to handle wandering hordes is that a wandering horde that's shown up or just a couple of galahs Anyone here? Ah, oh, it's just you. It's just you. That's all fine. I've got my brand new mildly dull katana to slice and dice you with. I do want to put more points into knives and swords before the horde gets here. I'd love to be able to afford like a forget an elixir or something, but I don't really think that's really an option for me. How do I get rid of you? There's like, like the whole like windowsill down here is what's catching all the zombies they're beating through there. Well, I suppose they do make it through there. Where are they going to end up? Nowhere really, I suppose. I can't get rid of it anyway. There's a lot more to break down than I really anticipated. Perhaps I can just leave it there then? Uh, do I actually have an option to get to me that way? I don't think so. There's still that corner sticking around the outside there though. <laughs> Let's get over there and break that down then. Just make sure all of their options are gone. There's only really a couple of sides over here, so that's not really an option for them. G'day Deeds, how you doing? Pat, pat, pat. Gotta start the day off properly. But there's also... Uh, a, ooh... A couple of... <laughs> this is a bit ominous. This is not making me feel especially fantastic. They should have break down into my garage and nick me 240. Can't say I'll blame them, but we're pretty upset with them if they did. A couple of loot bags over here that I left behind last time. So if you change over the gogs, have a little squeeze. Urban Comet Volume 6. Already read both of them, thanks for SD cards. And what's in this one? Some bobby pins and candlesticks. And some more cash as well. If one of these zombies wants to drop off like a casual 10 grand, I'd be pretty thrilled about it. Take all this stuff too. Really should clear all this out at some point, but today is not the day for that. But hey, look, easy access back up to my base. Lovely. Sounds like a fair bit... Oh, yep, a fair bit more company coming to say g'day to me. I do kind of miss the club for this though. Like, obviously, the narrow pathway here is so much more suited to clubs to get their goofy legs and send them back down again. But I guess I'm going to have to deal with it as best I can. Deeds is fluttering about and getting herself into all sorts of issues. Nice quick kill. Okay, lovely. I do have actually, while I'm thinking about it, I've been trying to get myself uh, the stuff together to upgrade my maintenance bench down there, which shouldn't be too far away. I'll take you out of there, stop the crafting, get you cranking out a bunch more concrete for me, and then you take all of you, chuck it into any which box. I haven't sorted out my inventory yet, much to my own chagrin. You into them. Okay, I need... Where was it made? I think it was like the workstation, the workbench. I need an advanced repair kit. Mate, ooh, no. Oh, shit. Workbench tier three. I have the gubs to do it, but not quite just yet. Upgrade you needs an impact driver. Right, okay. That is a little bit more concerning. I definitely have the rest before though, so that's fine. Didn't I have one somewhere or did that get used to research you? Upgrade that, upgrade you. 
Yeah, okay. So there's a couple of rungs I've got to climb through before I can actually upgrade my maintenance station, which I need to do to repair my katana and my ugly famus. Actually, you know what? In the interest of alliteration, I'm going to call it the fugly famus, like I'm writing it down in the burn book. To research an impact driver is going to cost me... Oh, uh, not too bad, actually. I might just crank that out then. Go to you, impact driver in here somewhere. That one research you it's gonna take a minute but that's okay reasonably expensive but not too bad i think i needed a hundred steel plating to upgrade the maintenance bench you upgrade it was a hundred so i'm right on the nipple someone's clattering about me somewhere it's probably like a a crawler or something yeah i can see the stumps of what used to be his legs so that was probably a dick shot i died of that one soon well, I'm waiting for all that then. I might go and see Trader Jen. I do actually have to go and mine some more oil shale as well. So I might get cranking onto that right away. Where was you? I got myself some extra frames. Thank you. But I do also need to build myself a little access route up through the horde base out here. There's lots of things to be doing today. G'day, 240. You may have seen some better days, but your best days are definitely with me. Chuck on the old goggles and up. Oh, Nope, to actually turn the steering wheel is probably a good shout. A little bit of a bendy, but you know, corners are fine. You're not a muscle car. Up we go. Let's go see Jen. Ooh, before I go too far though, I've only got two empty fuel cans on me. But I have my chemistry station at home now. So I don't actually have to go and see Jen. I can go and get the remnants what I've left there. Bring it home with me and crack out my own fuel in my own little house. I'm sure the fumes like just like gathering in the rooftop of my butcher's place probably isn't particularly fantastic, but that's fine. I only got like three brain cells left. May as well give them some smoke. I wish I could take all that cement with me. That's kind of like my biggest issue right now is the cement powder. I'm trying to start making my own through the forge and it's just annoying. It's giving all of that back again. It's a shitload of coal powder actually. How did I leave that one go by the wayside? All right, nice. Got what I needed. Deeds, come with me, please. I need you to stand on my side to make my ex-girlfriend jealous. You're looking kind of rough. You didn't get bit, did you? Well, look, teeth are never welcome, but, you know, whatever, we'll move on. Uh, what have you got to sell me this time, Jenny? Girl, munitions box, glass, ball bearings, barbed wire. What? That's a different kind of barbed wire to what I'm normally used to seeing. You know what? Give me one. Just give me one so I get a little squiz at what you actually are. Because, I mean, we all know what happens to the old-fashioned barbed wire. Someone made a really cool base out of it, and the fun pimps got rid of it, which is really annoying. I'll buy your eggs as well while I'm here. Not going to pop the sugar butts by M wearing the cred goggles, and I'm holding my 44. Super intimidating, I know. Couple of eggies. And we already something else. Ooh. <laughs> No, I'm not spending seven and a half thousand dollar dues on concrete. Building is so freaking expensive on Dead Legacy, and I miss doing it. I have to, like, <laughs> just build the bare minimum for everything. I can't afford to do anything else. Scrap machetes, some ammo, some darts, some more electric fences, actually. I'll take those. And not really anything else. Thank you so much. Hey, come again. No whackers, knackers. I might if you keep asking me like that. What about Mustache Man? What have you How got for me? My arch enemy. So your inventory for ooh, an iron sword. No, thank you. I've got a bloody katana now. Anything that's going to be real life especially easier. Not that one. Awesome sauce recipe for two grand. Mm, and a shotgun messiah book for a thousand. I've got the money. Shotguns degrade less, which would be wonderful for my vindicator. That's probably not a bad shout. And I've got a fair few sugar buds okay. on me, so yeah, okay. Yeah, okay. I'll save myself a little bit of dodge, because that awesome source would definitely come in handy, especially trying to respec with a forget elixir. So you, give me one of you, and one of you. Scrap katana, no thank you. Yeah, it's way too expensive. Way too expensive for me. Ooh. Put some brassy outdoor lights. A pair of them. Yeah, all right. No whackers. I'll furbish my home. Replenish my supply of sugar butts. Thank you very much. Uh, Jen, you didn't have any, like, fun jobs for anything, did you? They're all, like, tier ones, I think. No, I already have a job from you. All right. Well, never mind then. Let's get out there then and go and find myself some oil shale to dig up real fast. Is there... I'll just check the map real quick. Is there anything around that's kind of tempting? Probably out in the boons out there. All right, fair enough. I'll go and head on out and see if we can find any rainbow light refraction. Anything at all. Anything at all for me. Please don't be too far away. I don't have that much time. Yeah, easy. There was some right there. Getting guarded by a dingo, but that's all fine. Just... 
Like oh. that gets you out of my way. My assassin skills are getting better too. Change you over for my steel combat knife. Don't want to waste my katana on harvesting up puppies. <laughs> boom, boom. Nice. Get my. Oh, shit. Hang on. I've Hang on. No, it's fine, deeds. Don't worry, a little fluttery brain about it. I got you sorted. Steel pickaxe. Give me good gubbins. Nice, guys. Ah, I wasn't going to do it because oil shell is actually pretty good to get. Like, you get a lot of it pretty quickly and don't need much for your cans of gas. I might. I wasn't going to, but I think I will. I'll just go down into the mine here and grab what I can actually get. There we go. Ladder back up to the top because it's all nice and shiny down here. And take everything I can with me. Just do it once now and never have to worry about it again. I do wish I had some more skill points to put into like minus 69er and stuff. I've got so distracted with so many other skills and focusing on getting mother load up to maximum that minus 69 has definitely gone by the wayside a little bit. Plus, now I need to spec into swords and shit as well. So, might be a little while before I'm uh, max level on that one too. My normal playstyle for regular vanilla seven days has kind of like dripped into this, but there's a lot of things I have to do differently. It's taking some getting used to. I just, I just don't like being underground. It makes me anxious because I can't see what's coming for me and I'm going mining and raising my heat level. A scream is going to show up and call in all of the bad news or like a wandering horde is going to like drop in the hole behind me or something. At least I've got DD now that can warn me if someone does know that I'm here. That's like the best thing about deeds, that and the carrying capacity. So I have a little bit of heads up, but not an awful lot. And I'm uh, I'm not usually going to keep my head level at the best of times. I think this will just about do me. Get my current haul up over 100. There we go. Oh, and oh. Yep, okay, definitely time to go then. If I just <laughs> collapsed half a planet onto me noggin. Like, I'm hard-headed, but even that's a bit of a stretch. Probably time for me to skedaddle. What have I got on me? I've got... I need 11 more. I need 11 more. I can't leave on that yuck of a number. Give me 11 of them, please. That's eight. One out of you. 16. It's just over 500, but it's better than bloody 489 and all those yuck odd numbers. Let's go. I say I know I have the same amount of odd numbers, but whatever. Makes sense in my head. Let's get back, crack on with our gas production, and see what kind of concrete we have. Because I need to put in... Oops, sorry. My senses have picked up <laughs> all of the things I just ran over. Uh, I need to upgrade the base and put in that like concrete shell to protect against the cops. I need to do that before too long. So there's the chemistry station. I've already got all my gunpowder out of use, so that's fine. So you're looking really good. Plus, it's going to use all of my empty gas cans that are in my storage, which is way, way easier. Um, you actually take regular firewood, don't you? Or can I put, like, regular uh, fuel bricks into you? Of which I don't actually have that many. Okay, I'll just use firewood if it's around. Use my sweet search function, firewood. Nothing in you, because I still haven't sorted out any of this. There we go. The whole chunk of it there that I'm never going to use for anything else. In you go. So what's the what's the difference between these two then? Is that a full barrel? Or is it just an empty barrel? I don't know. Well, that's definitely the priority. But that takes oil shale as well. You know what? Fuck it. It's a journey of exploration. Let's craft a couple of you and just see what happens on the other side. I do craft all of those. And also, hey guys. Hey, did you guys know that I can actually craft grain alcohol on my own? I need to go and find it like I thought I did. Because that's not acid. Yes, I did read all those comments. People yelling at me about the fact I can make grain alcohol. I got confused. I thought it was like acid. I could only loot it. So that is my bad. <laughs> Wasted so much time carrying on like a pork shop trying to find the bloody thing. So it does... That is a full gasoline barrel with 60 liters in you. So it's like one oil shale for a liter of fuel. That's pretty bloody good. Right. I need to find some more empties then. So you're doing what? You're the empty fuel barrel. So I pick them up and bring them home. I can make bulk fuel. Man, fuel is just so much easier. Impact driver schematic is done, so we can grab you and then read you. Use. Now, what do I actually need to make the bloody thing? It's in workbench tier two. Lovely. It's going to use more of my steel plating, though, which is a bloody racket and a half. <sighs> Damn it, so I need more. You'd never guess. I need more steel plating. Who would have thought? Uh, it's not a ratchet, Josh. It's an impact driver. That one there. <sighs> I hate that it only crafts at tier H as well, but sure, whatever. Um, craft you all so that I can get my maintenance station up and cracking again. Uh, you're looking okay. I do need some more steel ingots though, so make... <laughs> screw the iron. Make a whole bunch of those. Yes, please. 
What else do I need to do? I need to get my concrete, which is out of this one. Need to get my nail gun, which is in one of these boxes somewhere, which I need to find. Drink some of you two while I'm back. I'm getting a little bit parched. Iron plating's in there. Just everything's everywhere. Maybe like not after the horde, after the day after the horde, I'll go through and sort this out, but it needs to be fixed. This is this is atrocious. There's my nail gun. I'll grab you. You're gonna just get replaced by that bit there. Well, do I need anything else? No, it's only it's only concrete and stuff in it. So that should be fine. So you seen some better days, but that's fine. Give you a little tickle, you back up riders right again. They both have actually. So as much as I like this kind of like design I've got here, it is it is copping a bit of a beating. It is not foolproof by any measure. That needs wooden planks. I might actually get rid of this. Oh, I shall leave you there. I'll change out the shovel. But didn't I have somewhere up here? So why I need to upgrade my bloody maintenance bench down there. Somewhere up here, I have a titanium axe and a titanium pickaxe as well. Look, all my tools are there. No, not that one. That was the worst of one. There was a better Titanium Max I found in the Wasteland. Where did you go? Uh, you. It's here, C, which is what my Steel Axe is. But, like, the difference is chalk and cheese. Yeah, it's so much better. I think for now, I'll change it over and start rolling with the better one. With just the assumption that by the end of the day, I'll be able to repair it. Oh, shit. All right, hang on. No, wrong one. Hang on. I'll be right there. Deeds, just give us a tickle. This is actually reminding me that I don't actually have any anti-volge protections right now. Oh, I come to think of it. No, it's, it's okay. It's on the end of the building. I haven't, like, changed any of the building above me. I'm just cutting out all the supports underneath. But I haven't got any anti-fluttery protection up on the roof right now. I don't have a turret. I don't have spikes, and it's not really conducive to spikes, I don't think. There we go. Get rid of you. So I guess, like, my best option for fighting... Need to get that out of the way. For fighting pelicans is to, like, come out here and shoot up at them. Oh, not now. Oh, there's no easy way up onto the roof. Actually, no, there is out by the horde base. Where? Oh, yeah, I'm going for it. Yeah, I'm going for it. Up we go. I want to get the drop. Huh? Oh, it was bold. Oh! Oh, my God! How the hell did I manage to hit that? I thought it was close to the edge of the building than it was. And I leapt almost to my death. Somehow managed to clip the bumper and jump into the driver's seat and save my ankles. That was not clever. But I got away with it. Therefore, I will learn no lessons. It's taking its sweet ass time to get down here and there's a lot of pigeons around that want to come have a squawk at me but i'm not really in the mood for that right now excuse me buttercup slice oh i clipped you i didn't kill you i didn't like that i didn't like how strong you were against that i thought the sword should have been better quickly whack on the old loot and specs and see what the gods are giving us range mods bundle three so we're going to the goblins and baked spuds all right cheese biggies you what have you got for me open an eight drum mag, a full auto trigger mod, and an eight time scope. That's not especially fantastic, but I suppose I can chuck it into somewhere. Like potentially, maybe instead of the laser sights for the full auto trigger mod, I'm not really sure. Nothing else really has a spot for it though. I'll just hold on to it then. Deeds, we're heading back again. We've got what we needed. Yeah, no, 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 no. It's fine. It's fine. We're going back. There's more work to be done. And it's already 1 p.m. A big shout out to the zombies for... I was going to say opening up around into the elevator shaft. But also, there's a whole... What? Did I just do the worst job ever of clearing out all the loot bags the last one around? Because apparently I did. A couple of 10 millimeter rounds for my SMG. Thank you. 7.62s for my um my tacky boy, which I will be using tonight, I think. A bag of goo. A bag of tuna. And last but not least, ooh, it's here B mining helmet with a mod, but worth 500 smackers. Thank you very much. And some dog food soon. There were some questions asking about, like, why I got rid of the stairwell over here and didn't use that for the zombie piling up to the top. Spiral staircase is just a bad time when there's more than, like, three zombies. They get caught up on each other, they start swinging, and they'll break the stairs. So it's much easier to give them a more direct route outside than going up a spiral staircase and probably having some issues. Speaking of, I also have issues because the hole to get into the elevator shaft was higher than I thought. We'll just go back along here and... Drop down to there. A <laughs> much more convoluted way to get into my house, but at least we're there. That steel's now done. I'll turn it off. I'll grab that and just immediately whack you in for some platy boys. A full 60. I only needed like another 20, I think, didn't I? So let's just go like 30 for now and I'll put all of my plates in that one ingot basket. And I think that's going to be everything that I need. Upgrade you. Need the advanced repair kit and 100 steel plates. Okay, so I should be right on the cusp of it, though. This is a whole lot of work. I've done anything. I've done anything for the freaking horde base that I was supposed to. And instead, 
Get that Loza. Oh, all right. Buy Loza. And instead, I've been faffing around trying to get my offensive stuff actually up and proper. You are now good and dead. I completely forgot that I had a whole ladder here for me to get up on in soon. Arlene, please go away. I don't have the time for you right now, nor your new boyfriend. Okay, so upgrade the workbench to tier three with, oh my God, really? So I'm not even close to upgrade my maintenance station. Not even bloody close. Ah, uh, shit. I need so much more fucking steel, dude. So much more steel. You get repaired with a regular repair kit, though, so that's okay. The Famous is a repair kit. Your repair kit. Your repair kit. So, maybe instead of investing all of my stuff and getting my workbench up and going, even though that would be the dream, if I just make myself a bunch of repair kits, that might tide me over. Um, repair kit. Uh, you can craft it in the workbench for... I'm not even sure, actually. Where are you? In here somewhere? Repair kit. Takes five steel and a bunch of other governments, but that's kind of okay. And some scrap iron, which is even more annoying. Uh, that might be the best option. How many repair kits do I actually have? I should have a couple of them around. Search you for repair kits. Oh, shit. And while I'm at it as well, you. Sorry. I've got to clear that out, but I think we're okay. I think the crafting just stops if I can't squeeze it in. Nine repair kits in you. Do I have any others around? Any at all? Please say yes. No, damn it! Before I forget as well, I need to make myself some concrete blocks. It's got like 35, so I have some left over to do repairs with overnight during the horde. Uh, you don't have any space in you. No, you don't. Neither do you. Please get the search bar out of the way. Everything get in. Just everything ever, because I need to free up all the space I possibly can. All my fuel's in there. Impact drivers in there. That's all fine and dandy. Let's keep the repair kit something for now. In fact, I might even chuck them immediately down with a whole bunch of ammo as well. Grab all the ammo I can and put it down in my hall night box down below. That's probably the wisest move. You can stay with me as well. Extra ammo out of that. Rock busters, no need to grab you. Got so much random shit. I really need to go through this and get the most valuable things, sell the things, and try and come off forgetting elixir. Just grab the blocks as they're coming through. Put you back up to there. Lock you in places wherever you are. Don't have time to go sorting out all of that right now. And just start. Oh, God. Mmm, that's probably not great though, is it? I need some wooden planks to fix it up. It's only wood. This building is not particularly strong, and I'm really putting it through its paces. Where is all my planks, if they're here at all? Got a whole fucking stack of them, so give me some of those. Thank you very much, and repair up that little block below. Like that, put a concrete block above, and consider the work on through and replace it with concrete. Time's ticking away from me very bloody quickly, like the opening of Space Jam. That one's fine underneath. Keep on going as the storm rolls in. It's all getting very ominous right now. Oh. Uh, g'day everybody. How the bleeding hell are you? Let me quickly just whack on the old XP gog so I can quickly murderize all of you. Just like that. Good pill. Double damage. Didn't kill you right off the bat though, but did pop your noggin on the second one. Almost. Better. Arlene's always ready to get down and dirty when I give her a shot to the face. Who's next? Just all the way through. Just almost headshots for days. That one's better. That one's better again. Look at me learning how to aim a gun. I'm actually hitting the target for a change. This is how people who are competent at games feel when you point the thing at something and suddenly they die. It's way easier to kill zombies when you actually hit them with bullets. Who would have thought? I was trying to stuff about with half blocks and things to try and make it a bit more roomy in here, but I think it's fine if I just go like that. Um... I reckon, actually, yeah, I'll make that kind of a narrow window behind me, so I have to kind of go around to avoid coppers from seeing me. Oh, we'll just go like this. We'll just go like that. All the way up, excuse me, deeds, and around. Because I want this to be a bit of a doorway, so I can actually get out here to shoot zombies, or shoot the birds, if I need to also have that protection from errant cop vomit. Because that happened last one, I had that window, and cops on the street saw me and started vomiting into my wall over here. So I need to stop that from happening. Let's go, ooh, excuse me, all the way out, like, do I want to build this out of concrete even? Can I, do I have any other resources that aren't quite as valuable as concrete are to me? Because I should probably be building out of that instead. Can I build brick stuff, stone stuff? Do I even have any bricks around the place? I don't think I do come to think of it, but this is not going as smoothly as I might have hoped. I don't, but I have bulk clay. Uh, but I might need clay for other things. I think instead, no, nah, I'll just go with the concrete. It'll be fine. I need that big of an awning out of here just to kind of deal with the Muppets upstairs. So we'll go like that, like that. Now I have a window to stand on. Doesn't have to be big, just a little bit of satin, satin. You know what I mean? Yo, I want to go on face. That one there, get the rotation I want, and then lock that in just for a bit of aesthetics and chuck you like that. There we go. All the way along. It's got a tinge of piss on it, but I think it's fine. 
I need some more concrete. Okay, there's more concrete, but from here, I can look up through some bars or something and shoot what's going on upstairs. You know what? Fuck it. I think I do need the bricks. I wonder if things go really badly, can I make the jump over to there? I don't want to put any hay bales like in my driveway. That would be a really silly idea. But if I can make the jump to them, which if we're in combat, I probably should be able to do, then I could what? Jump in on my cars over that side and just get out of here. Or at least just have a way down from here that's nice and quick that's not going to snap my ankles. Getting into a car during a horde, that's probably not a great idea, so I'll try and avoid that if I can. Up we go to the tippy top. You're cracking away. Give me a nice round number, please. Need the 16. One more. Thank you. And we could chuck you into the artisan's hell to crank out a bunch of bricky boys. Because, like, yeah, if I can make, like... The bigger issue here is just blocking the visibility of the cops down below. So a nice solid wall around. Then the bars up the top so I can shoot through. Add on the vultures. Just means I have to be paying attention, which, in fairness, isn't my strong suit either. Do I have any strong suits? I don't know. I know it looks yuck, but you gotta do what you gotta do sometimes. I'm more interested in making sure I have runes to maneuver out here and it does the job than the aesthetics of it all, which hurts me to say. It's not normally how I roll, but in this instance, it's kind of my only option. I might leave that as a door in case I do need an escape route, because if things go wrong in here and that's gone, well, I've built myself a tomb and that's really all there is to it. But with the last coupler, I need some bars, please. Not normally a massive fan of using bars, but we're going to see how we go this time. And I can actually leave a bit of a gap up the top. So, like, that one, that one. Ooh, not so much that one, because a little bit of corner thing. They'll get rid of that, though, nice and quick. I just don't want to bonk my head on that thing if I try and jump out. I need that little bit of space where I can get up and out without just going boom and then falling into the zombie's grasp. I completely forgot that I can make myself the fuel bricks in an upgraded carpenter's table, which I think I only have at C2 right now. I do. And upgrade you... Some logs is... Oh, it's after 6 p.m. All right, the horde is on its way. I've run out of time. I haven't... Shit, I haven't even done... Come with me. The, like, the most important bit down to them. I haven't even done, like, the protection along the bottom down here. That was not especially clever, me. Okay, you... Oh, shit. I've got 15 blocks. Fuck. So I want to leave like a little space there. In my mind, I don't think it actually makes a difference, but in my mind, it's like insulation, you know? It's like, like a glass pane, where if you leave an air gap in between, it helps with like thermal uh, insulation. So maybe if I put that in there, it'll help with like cold vomit insulation, right? Makes no sense, but it's what I'm going with. So I'm going to chuck in just a couple of bits. Oh, fuck. A couple of bits like this, purely so... If they do have a pop, or if they do have some goals or something like that, it's going to hit this and not the blocks upstairs that's currently holding all of my storage. Any extra blocks in between to give myself a little bit of uh, protection is always a good idea. And it's actually attached to the roof, which is kind of fun. So you, please just give me that one. Oh, fine, if you're going to ask for that, get the shit out of the way. I'll just break it down instead. Like that. Screw lighting. I need protection. No fucking shit balls! This is not how I anticipated spending the last couple of moments before the horde, but if you know anything about me, this shouldn't surprise you one iota. Of course, I'm breaking down a misplaced block that's taking 18 years to do in the final couple of seconds of life before the horde gets here. Would it even be a Shibuidal video if I wasn't doing this? Of course it fucking wouldn't be! Place the last couple of blocks in nice and slow this time in case there's a bit of corners in that's going to throw me off. Now, this is the last two concrete blocks that I have. I do have brick which i could probably use just kind of finish off yeah i will actually go like that go like that cheese big ears i don't have any br brick blocks on me even oh it's getting real flashy out here in the window and then into the wall uh you artisan tower give me a whole bunch of those please and to finish off actually, fuck, while i'm here as well uh you doors i need to make Metal doors. Oh, that's so expensive. Fuck it. No. Can I make just like regular doors in you then? This one. Door. Regular wooden doors. Made in carpenter stable. I need like two of those. Doesn't have to be crash hot, just enough to like kind of block the visibility. That's the main uh the main goal. I mean, My even though have picked up something. Oh, not now. Even though, you know, obstruction isn't cover, it's gonna keep me alive for a little bit longer than otherwise would do. Go away. Go away, please. I'm really not moving for your shit right now. Look, it's not much, but it might get me through. That's all there. Okay, so now I can get back up to him. It's not time for me to pull up the ladders just yet, but I still, I still need some access routes. This base is a shambles. There's shit everywhere. I've kind of just, like, haphazardly slapped shit together and hoped for the best and just uh, prayed it comes out well on the other side. 
Go like that all the way along there. Like obviously radiator vultures that can spit at me are gonna be another issue, but this should get me through for now. And then those doors, wherever they are in the carpenter's bench, chuck them on the outside. I might even need like two more even. Let's go two more just because I can. So I have doors on the inside and doors on the outside. I need to find the hay bales and chuck them down below as well. Where the shit have I put the hay bales? There we go. Three hay bales. Grab you. Turn off. No, not that one. Turn off the the search button. Jeez, the, there's like a little overlay on the hitbox and that or like it preferences the one I previously highlighted so I can't change it over easily. Oh, not now. Go away. That was actually a fucking good shot just quietly. Oh, look. It's like the old whore base used to have where they climb a ladder directly into a shotgun. That worked out. Want me to go back to that one? I'm on the wrong side of the freaking base, though. Two hours to go. I'm putting these down and looking at them, and it's suddenly occurring to me that wasn't there a, um... Wasn't there, like, a double door mechanic now? Doors in here somewhere? I mean, look, the traders have them, so surely I can make them. But maybe not in wood? I guess kind of makes sense. Uh, stellar door? No... Wooden double doors near carpenter's table tier three. I gotta keep it in mind for later. I've used my brass hinges now. I'm gonna find some by breaking out other people's doors though. So they look pretty bloody cool. I'll get to them another time though. Okay, it's eight o'clock. My goal of upgrading this has failed. Mm, all because I needed that repair kit. I can't make the repair kit without the workbench. I need steel plates for that too. It's just a lot. It's a lot of ask. But not a lot of reward in the end. And it's really fucking pissing me off. I think the nine repair kits I have downstairs is going to be enough. So I guess I guess that's it. I guess that's all she wrote. So we'll pick up the uh the frames I have out here to make sure that no one's coming up this way if I don't want them to. That'll be fine. This can all stay here. Right, okay, hour and a half to go. Let's put all the food and water into me that I need and drop off all the shit that I don't need and get ready for the horde. It's all coming down to this. I forgot. I forgot one more thing. I didn't put those hay bales down yet and I really need them there in case I do need to get out of here very quickly. Drop out to there. Probably put you downstairs into your rifle home as well. Can I make that jump? I'm not sure if I can. I'm going to give it a whirl anyway. You are kind of getting blocked off by like all the road markings and shit, so potentially like up there then oh it's a bit of an ask we'll go like that and we'll go like that fuck ah uh huh um okay can i like stick it on the side there no i can't mm, desperate times desperate measures and all that kind of stuff so you give me the regular blocks we'll go like that one and that one and put you in right next door and i think actually just to save myself clipping my big toe and having a real bad time about it can i Oh, go away. Why are there so many zombies in the zombie apocalypse? Leave me alone. I'm going to take out a couple of extra fences on either side. Because now that they're there, I don't want the zombies to think the fastest way through this car park is through my hay bales. Then I jumped to safety, only realized the zombies have seen that coming and broken down my escape route well before I got there. Well, it has this occurred to me now doing that. I could have put the hay bales just on top. In fact, I'm going to do that. I'm going to do that. Quickly pick it up. Don't have time to be doing this, but fuck it, whatever. Put them on top of the fence there. It's one less block I have to jump, which might be the difference in the end. You go there. You go there. Okay, 2.40. Come with me. We're heading downstairs. Got 50 minutes. Time is gone. Now it's just fighting time. I'm actually going to put my 2.40, my most prized possession, just in the box in there. You guys, are you going to stay there. That's all good. All right, deeds. Are we done, D? I think we are. I hope we are. I've got rid of the access routes. I think we're all fine. I've got half an hour to go. So let's chuck down the stuff I don't need on me right now. I need to actually get... Didn't I have some learning elixirs around here somewhere? I'm pretty sure I did. You are elixir. Nothing with that one. Mm, nothing with that one. Where the hell have I put it? I thought I had one at least somewhere. I need those levels to upgrade my... There you are. To upgrade my katana. And in fact... I'm going to repair everything now. Give me you. Get rid of that one. Mm, yeah, okay, that's fine. Give me my repair kits. And real quick, repair everything. Repair everything I possibly can. I need all the guns to be working for me. And katanas included. I'm actually going to leave all of my regular stuff just in my inventory. I may as well. I'm not weighed down nor really even close. So I think that's all fine. Uh, as much as I like you, Steyr, I don't think today is going to be your day. Steel clubby, I can actually repair you just in here, can't I? In fact, I probably should have checked if I could have repaired anything in there before I started using repair kits, but whatever. Um, just in case I need you, happy to have you. Um, you can just hold on to that. I need you right now. Molotovs and stuff, not super necessary. 
Uh, you're not necessarily either you go away. Keep you guys on me. First aid kits. Yes, definitely got you. Got my nail guns. That's fine. Bombs and things. Ammo and things. Where's all my recog though? Do I even bring any recog? Shit, I've got to pair this. You repair. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know. Oh, shit. There's a copper. Ah, oh, fuck it. Fuck it. You may be ugly, famous. You may be the ugly, famous. But you're going to work for me today. There's headshots all across the board. Ammo conservation at the best of times in the world. I only need to put another couple of sprays out there. So I'll fuck them all up. Boom. Boom. Katana's not quite as strong as I might have hoped. I'm still rolling a suppressor on my shotgun. That was silly. I don't know what's happened with the Yeti at the, oh, at the back over there, but I've got the suppressor off the shotgun so I can use my best weaponry to my advantage. You can go away. Goodbye building apparently as well. <laughs> Shotgun's so good at killing. It's killing cities as well. You. Try and line up so I'm not accidentally killing things behind you too. Stand up, please. Slices go down and get some bleeding damage going. Make sure I reload the UMP. I've taken the suppressor off that one as well. Yeah, no, nah, no. Nah, I know, Deeds. Just, oh, God. I see it. I see it. I need to put... Oh, God. I need to put the fuck the famous in a better position so that when a copper does show up, I can get to a little bit faster. Probably instead of the club, actually. I now have that on in case I need to bonk and get some jelly legs going. Jelly legs at will is always a good thing to have. You. Like that. Headshots with a Vindicator still do some pretty fucking solid Vindication. Nice and slow. Just like rolling through all the weapons I have out available to me. Try to do the best job I can. We're barely at over an hour in yet. We're already getting fucked up. Am I missing anything? I don't really think I am. I think I'm pretty fine across most of the board. What I don't have though is um my buddy, my recall. Recall's the best thing ever. If I left it upstairs somewhere, I guess I must have. Where else could it possibly be? Got a biker on the second floor. Drop the blue bag when it's out so I can get that later. Um, well, they give it, I found a whole bunch of them the other day, or just earlier today. Uh, I doubt I'm actually that good at finding all the bags I need to. Get some blind damage going on. You, you're armored, so you're actually really bloody strong. Please die faster. There we go, need my stamina back. I want to go slice, I just don't think I'm up for it. I don't think melee is the right call here. Especially not with these fat Todgers showing up all the time. You know what, actually? I'm going to I'm gonna take the window. I'm going to take the window that I can. Excuse me, Deeds. to get up nice and quickly. Click the right buttons, please. You. Recall. That's a lot. That's not helping. The whole time I'm looking for this. I'm fucking no shit, Sherlock. There you are. Recall. Give me you. Chuck you in straight away and get back downstairs again. So I've got some perks going. Reach the guys that made it to the wall. Just do so much more damage when you're recogged up than you would otherwise. That's out of ammo. That's all right. Always got the shotgun. My shotgun is just my best weapon in every situation. Plus, it's a super fast reload. I haven't even popped my learn. Ow! Pop my learning elixir. That hurt a lot. Ah, please fuck off then. Recog, do your work. Long range with the shotgun. Working out pretty well for me as well. Yeah, the faster reload, the extra damage, and all the good things. Like, using the other weapons, I use because I don't want to use the shotgun. Just because my ammo isn't quite there. You're gone. Look at that, though. It clears the crowd so easily. I boosted my uh, my recog stuff. I was able to take some skull crush as well because it's extra 50% melee damage. Oh, I'll chuck it one of you as well. I think you protect. Oh, shit. I think you protect against uh, me getting critical injuries as well. So not a bad idea to have one of those up and going immediately. So far, so good though. So with the skull crushes, doesn't feel like it's doing more. I mean, it, it should be because it's still melee damage. I don't know. The guitar is a bit underwhelming. I suppose I'm not getting like the knockdown immediately that I got with the uh, with the club. It just feels like it's not quite doing as much. Just look at that. That's five swings on a biker and you still didn't die. Get your bleeding though. Only 20 uh, seconds of bleeding at any one time too. So can't quite get it really fantastic. But I suppose I use it more. I get my levels up and it does more damage. Might come into its own later on. In fact, speaking of, that's our bonds, mate. Oh, level 64. Now take your hands off the mouse and bonk your concrete. Can you guys, hang on, die and die, please. Because I really, really uh, quickly need to chuck in a point. This one here, where is it? Into Swordy Boys. There you go. That should make the sword even better again. It's a bloody hope so. It's really power attack or nothing, though. Anything other than that just doesn't quite do the job. Oh, that's a spider out there, though. I can't quite get to you. Hold on. Hold on. 
Bloody hate spot. It's so bleeding much. They get all the nooks and crannies and make life so much harder than it needs to be. I hear a bird. I hear a bird. Go out into my little anti-bird area. Cool could give you a rinse. I mean, look, that's probably not the most efficient thing I've ever built ever to deal with vultures because, like, spikes are... Oh, that's a... That's a white down there. Spikes or one tower will do the job better than that. But at least for this, I don't have to worry about electricity and things, nor like replenishing spikes later. This will do the job for now for the next little bit. Kill you. Arlene, please piss off as well. We change our loot and specs and grab whatever's in your pockets for something. Turn off search. Ooh, a coffee. Don't mind if I do. I'll grab all of that. Give myself some nourishment in the midst of battle. Once I kind of find my groove, g'day deeds, pat, pat, pat. I hope you're enjoying the show. Once I find my groove, I feel significantly better about this than I would otherwise. Ah, fuck. Except I left my concrete behind. You go away. Where did I leave my concrete? Did I leave it in a box somewhere or did I leave it in a cement mixer? I think it's in a box somewhere, actually. So you all need to die. You definitely need to die. Oh, the reach on the sword isn't quite what it could be. I can kill you. Kill all of you guys. Please get the shit off my front lawn. Up we go. Is it in you? No, it's not. Where did I leave you then? You, please search for concrete. This is not what I should be doing in a horde night. Nothing in you. Uh, nothing in you. I didn't leave it in the box either, I don't think. Nothing in that one. And concrete. There you are. I knew I left it in there somewhere because I'm a bloody idiot. You, g'day. So I'm not sure if you guys are like getting this dragon on a different level and try to take a different route to get to me. I'm not really sure. But either way, when I come back down, there's not nearly as many down here as I thought there might be. Cheeky double shot on that one. And, oh, almost got a double shot on you too. Give you some bleeding. I think I heard another pigeon outside, so hold on. It's like stepping up and stepping back to try not to get clobbered because I can reach through there and hit me pretty good. You just fucking die, please. Good God, they're so stubborn. I know the feels. Upgrade you. Make sure everything here is good and hosed. Nice. Last not least, though, where are you? I know you're out here somewhere. There you are. Good. Nice. I wonder, actually. So with, like, the, um, with the new zombie AI stuff, where they destroy everything mode, that can now be cancelled by entity damage, does bleeding damage count as entity damage? Like, if I tickle someone up here and get them bleeding, does that mean when they go downstairs and get annoyed that they're down there, they will get snapped out of their destroy everything mode faster because they are taking bleeding damage? Because I'm... Cheese deeds. I inflicted the bleed, so therefore it is my damage, and I'm an entity. At least that's what I keep telling myself in the mirror every morning. So, wow. Who taught you how to shoot? Maybe I'm not an entity after all, but if I was AI, I'd be significantly better at this game than I am currently. So, I don't know. That might need some testing, because that's an interesting question. I can hear a pigeon. Hold on. Hold your horses. Where are you? Oh, that's the, that's the wrong thing. Uh, okay, I need to... It's <laughs> not the right gun for the job, but I made it work anyway. Make sure my UMP is loaded at all times. It's one of my best guns, and I have a good amount of ammo for it. So letting that be unchambered, just bloody silly. The only problem is, though, it takes so freaking long to reload the thing that I start doing it, and the animation doesn't stop forever. Yet another reason the shotgun is so freaking good. You just get a little bit of damage on you, so you're not going to vomit everywhere. There we go. So we've got five minutes left on the recog. I'm getting pretty thirsty, though. Chuck another one in, please. Make sure I ride us around on all fronts. It's 2 a.m. We're looking okay. I've gone back to the M14 for a little bit just because it does do a shitload of damage, especially the armored boys as well. So it gives me a little bit of reprieve. There's a lot of doggos out there. I've heard the gargling, which means that, like, the regular wandering, like, walking zombies, so there's one, uh, like, have a bit more of a gap between them. So even though it's only six rounds in the magazine... It's still more than enough time to reload it and start again. Look at that. See, like they're coming thick and thin. Well, mostly thick and then some thin. But as I reload in the thin bits, nothing really to worry about. You, please go away. I don't think I killed you there, so we'll go back to the shotgun real fast and clear out the rest of them. I love it. I love it so much. Everything else I do is just a break between the shotgun. Then things get a little bit inconvenient. Shoddy comes out and everything's fine again. This is almost like to the point where having some like uh, uh, ammo penetration wouldn't be a bad shout because they are kind of lining up pretty regularly. Also really love they get to the front here and they try to get in the center of the block which pushes them off the side. An extra added bonus that is just helping me so much. That sounds like... Oh shit. Hang on. That sounds like... Fuck a cop somewhere that might be breaking some things. I heard the sound of breaking timber. I don't know. I don't know. They can't come through there though because the ladder's all broken. They can't use that. I don't think. There is a small chance that at some point some zombie's going to come through the ceiling up here and scare me half to death. So let's just all pray for that doesn't happen because that would be the end of me. 
and it's a really bad time. I can hear a bird, but I can't see a bird. Everyone, please stop. How the, how the dick are you in here? You came in through the window. This caused me dramas. Rude. You got to knock first. You probably did. Actually, I just didn't hear you. But then you can't just let yourself in through the window. Don't know what you're trying to steal, but if you steal my iron, I'm ropeable. I've got none of that already. It's my most valuable possession. It's 3.30. We're doing okay for the moment. The M14 is so freaking good. I've had this M14 for a long time. I found it way back in the pine forest, way back when. And it's one of the few things that I have upgraded along the trip that is actually worthwhile. That doesn't make it an upgrade anything else, though, because it's definitely not worth it when it starts eating all your gubbins, but... Oh, that's a little bit too close to tough, but... Piss off spider, piss off spider soon. Come on, you MP. I know you're better than that. It's going to do your job for a little bit longer. We're only 15 minutes away from salvation. Yeah, that M14... Been with me for a while. Like the groove, like the, the bloody pistol grip it's got has been formed into my hand at this point. And I love it. I love it so much. Especially when I get to pop doggers from point blank. Just satisfying as shit. Look at that. We're almost there. We're almost there. Despite this being a yet another pretty badly thought out of Horde Night, somehow we've made it to the other side of it. With a couple of a couple of issues, mostly born from me being a Galar, which we kind of just expect at this point, but it's uh, not as bad. As it could have been. That was not good shooting. Good day, Barney. No, no, no. Shit. Almost got there. Almost gave me a tickle right when I needed to, but it wasn't to be. You go away. You... Oh, fuck. They all need to go away. Just take some shelter and try to avoid copper some kebab in the face. Who the kebab in the face I like is at three in the morning after a real big night out. And it's usually not pre-chewed. It's just the last of the Mutt Brigade that I have to deal with now. The rest of you guys can all go into there. I'll come back for the rest of you later. Recog in there, please. Yes, it is. I don't need you to be in there, though, nor you. Suppressors come back with me. That stuff can go back upstairs. So can that one. And that'll just about do it. I'll chuck you in your face. And half of that one can go back as well. I know you're out there. Just give us a tick, would you please? Uh, five, five, sixes. And I'll keep you with me. Okay. That's all fine. Scomo, catch you later. So I'll go catch you later as well. All right. Let's get down there and get the loot that I need. Chuck on the loot and specs and the loot and candy. Oh, loot and candy. Yeah, maybe. We'll see, we'll see what's out here. It's real nice and easy because the last couple of zombies just make their way up the ladder right up into the muzzle of my shotgun. You could almost just like kind of fight a horde like this, couldn't you? Just like stand on a really tall ladder at the very top aiming straight down with ammo penetration as well. That would be just the tits. But look at that though. It's like guaranteed headshots all the way through. Like a vertical crawling base. It's not a particularly egregious idea, we're being completely honest. I'm wearing the... I was wearing the wrong goggles, but the correct goggles now. Before I do anything else, though, suppress it back onto you and suppress it back onto you. Last thing I want to do is piss off ever, ever more zombies after all of that. Start at the top. Yeah, we'll put the eye candy in. Why not? Eye candy in and start working our way through all of the loot bags. What have you got to offer me? A tier D military vest, which is going to be worse than I'm currently wearing, I think. I'm wearing steel arms, of course, it's going to be worse, but... All right, that's fine. Worth a pretty penny at the very least. Now, where did all the bags go? There's a lot of them. You, 762 pounds. Thank you very much. Ooh, scrap you. I actually eat you. I'm a little bit peckish. And some more 556s. Five, five, Definitely appreciate that. If you all want to hand a little 556s five, five, to me, I would love it. Is there someone? Master, we are not alone. In the elevator shaft? Hold on. I need to go down and kind of clear that out, I think. I think someone's down in my garage. That could be a problem. They've got to put my 240 away. You... Ooh. Tier A. Hoods. More recog and shotgun shells. Might even keep the shotgun out just in case things get real uh, dicey real quick. Move one of you. Scrap the other one. Some more steel. Thank you very much. And... There's like some up there, I think. Yeah, there is. All right. Who's gurgling out here, though? Are you around? No one here. Did you go back inside? No? Okay. I'm very confused. <laughs> Bud, you okay? Having a bit of a time. I now have a pet ScoMo. Was anyone else I might appreciate it, but ScoMo can fuck off. Grab the last of these bags up the top of the little like, platform here that I probably should get rid of. It's caused me more issues than it's worth. Taylor's treasure map, a couple of weightlifting books. I'll actually take you with me to the waste. There's a couple of treasure maps up there I need to get already as well. And that will just about do it, I think. So to get anything fun, not really especially, but it's better than nothing. 
But there you go. My slap together horde base has survived another one, but it's getting worse and worse the longer this goes on. Well, with that, I'm going to have to leave this episode here, I think, and come back and continue on. But tomorrow, I need to go and get a bunch more iron. Shock horror, I know. Playing Undead Legacy, I need to go mine more iron. So I'll head out and get as much of that as I can because I need to upgrade my workbench and then upgrade my maintenance station to make everything that I'm doing just that little bit more feasible. Plus, I drop off some of this extra stuff and kind of get most of this in order. I I want to go back to the wasteland. I want to go and take over Higashi, but I think I might have to wait a couple of days because as much as I'd love to do it now, I'm not really in a prime position to go and find an iron mine, grab what I can and chuck it in the furnace and get cracking on with the next step of my base production, I suppose. But I'll have to upgrade all that in the next episode because this episode is done. So thank you guys for watching. Most of all, thank you to the patrons of Patreon who made this episode possible. If you liked it, make sure you hit the like button down below or subscribe to this channel follow me on twitter if i don't talk to you there first i'll see you in the next episode have a good one